Do you really want something? Then let it go. Sounds crazy, right? But that's the secret to unlocking the law of attraction. Ever heard of it? It's fascinated people for years, even though the term is kind of new. The law of attraction has been around for about 80 years, but before that, it had different names, hermetic principles, mentalism. You get the idea. Ever read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill? Yes, he used it too. And it's all about one key principle, vibration. Everything is vibrating. The phone in your hand, the chair you're sitting on, even your clothes. It's all energy. And guess what? If you want to attract something into your life, you need to vibrate with it. But here's the kicker. Letting go is the final step. And it's tough, right? You don't want to feel like you're giving up on your dream. But that's exactly what you need to learn. In this video, I'm going to show you how to let go without losing sight of your desire. How to stay focused without feeling like it's slipping away. Trust me, this is one of the most powerful lessons you'll ever hear about the law of attraction. Before we start, I want you to repeat an affirmation. This is one of the most powerful affirmations, and don't just take my word for it. Try it yourself. In the next few days, if you start repeating this affirmation, you'll see changes. I'm not saying you'll get exactly what you want in seven days, because sometimes you're further away from that reality, and it might take a bit more time. But I can tell you this, you'll start seeing synchronicities, signs from God, the universe, energy, or whatever you like to call it. So, grab a pen and some paper, and write this affirmation down because we're going to say it together. But first, write it down. I don't chase. I attract. Everything good comes to me easily and effortlessly. Write it. I don't chase, I attract. Everything good comes to me easily and effortlessly. Now we'll say it together. Take a deep breath, place your hand on your stomach, and feel your belly expand as you breathe. When you push your belly out while breathing, you press on your diaphragm, which activates the vagus nerve. This helps calm your body, putting you in a parasympathetic state, which connects you to your subconscious. You're entering an alpha state, and it's easy. Just breathe deeply and feel your belly rise. Now, place your hand on your heart, close your eyes, and breathe deeply. Focus on your heart, because the heart is what attracts things. It sends out an electromagnetic signal that's way stronger than the brain's. We don't attract with our minds, we attract with our hearts. Your brain helps you think logically and solve problems, but attraction comes from the heart. Write this in the comments. Attraction comes from the heart. Now feel your heart, breathe deeply, and repeat after me. Po chase, I attract. Everything good comes to me easily and effortlessly. Really feel it. Believe that you don't chase anything, things come to you, and they come easily, without effort. Imagine telling your friends, things just come to me so easily. It's true, you're lucky. You think about something, and it comes to you. It takes the same effort to say things are hard as it does to say things are easy, but you attract what you believe. If you keep repeating this, you'll start believing it, and it will happen. Let's say it again. I don't chase, I attract. Everything good comes to me easily and effortlessly. Now, picture it and feel like it's real, that you're someone whose life flows easily and things come without effort. That doesn't mean you're not working hard, but it doesn't feel like a struggle. How do you feel now? Write it in the comments below. Do you feel that joy, that sense of luck, that things just come to you? I hope you do, because it really works. Let's talk about why we sometimes push things away when we try to attract them. The universe only responds to one thing, your vibration. If you vibrate in abundance, 
you attract abundance. If you vibrate in lack, you attract lack. Your vibration comes from your feelings, which are a mix of your thoughts and emotions. If you clearly picture what you want, feel it strongly, and believe it's happening now, you will attract it. It has to happen because universal laws never fail. But here's the problem. When you try too hard to attract something, you actually push it away. Why? Because the signal you send to the universe is, I don't have it, I need it. And that keeps it away. The key is to feel like you already have it. Jesus explained this 2,000 years ago in the Bible. He said, Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you already have it, and it will be yours. That's how it was translated, but I think Jesus meant something more like, Whatever you ask for in prayer, feeling like you already have it, will be yours. What I just showed you, the Alpha State, is the same thing Jesus talked about. Science says that in the Alpha State, the subconscious is more open to suggestions. But remember, your mind isn't just in your brain, it's in your whole body. The logical side of your brain might say, this isn't true, this can't happen. That's why you need to calm it so it doesn't sabotage you. That's why we enter the Alpha State first. We attract what we vibrate. When you want something and feel like you need it, you're telling the universe, I don't have it. But what Jesus was really teaching is that if you feel like you already have it, you will receive it. The key is to relax and feel like it's already yours, not that it's coming in the future, because the future will always be ahead of you. The only time that exists is now. When you get to the future, it will still be your present, but right now, it doesn't exist. The only way to make that future real is to feel like it's happening now, like it's already here. If you keep thinking, I need to attract this, it will always stay in the future. If you feel lack in the present, you'll keep attracting lack. So bring that future into the now by feeling like it's already a fact, because the only time that really exists is now, the present. When you set the intention that you're going to bring something into your life, it might feel a bit tricky. It's not the easiest thing, but I'm going to show you how. Start by thinking of something, something small and simple. You'll be surprised in the next few days by how you'll make it happen. That's why it needs to be something easy and believable for you. For example, dream big, but start small. Begin with something small you want to bring into your life. When you see it happen, you'll believe more. And that's what faith is all about, right? It's not about praying, going to church, or following a religion. Believing is faith. It's about trusting in things you can't see yet but hope for. Once you get little signs that this works, you'll start believing more. Then you can go for bigger things. But first, you need proof that it's working for you, so you can build your belief. Start with something small and real to you. You'll bring it into your life in the next seven days. Maybe a friend will invite you for coffee or to a restaurant. Maybe someone you haven't heard from in a while will call you out of the blue. Think about something you want to attract, something that feels possible for you. Maybe someone will surprise you with something nice. Do you have something in mind? It's important to choose something specific for this to work, okay? Do you have it? Great. Now let's move forward. I promise this will happen in the next seven days, maybe even in the next three days. Why three days? Because three is the number of creation, and it takes three days for the universe to respond to your message if you do it right, as I'll show you now. So close your eyes, take a deep breath, place your hands on your stomach, and feel your belly rise. Do it again. Now focus on your heart and feel it. Imagine that you already have what you want, not that it's coming. Not that it will happen in seven or three days, but that it's happening now. It's not something from the past. It's happening right now, in the present. Now, say thank you for it. 
Be grateful because it's already here. Thank God, the universe, energy, or whatever you believe in, because this has already happened. Smile. That's it. You have it. How does it feel? Let me know in the comments below how it feels to have this in your life. Feels good, right? Here's the thing. Your brain can't tell the difference between fantasy and reality, so this has already happened in your higher consciousness in a spiritual sense. Now it will happen in your physical world in reality. You've already felt it inside, and as you feel it inside, it will happen outside. What happens in your mind happens in your world. It will come to life. Now for the most important step, letting go. This is what I wanted to teach you in this video. How do you let go? You need to leave as if it's already happened. If you start to feel doubt or fear that it won't happen, just do this exercise again. Stop. Feel that it's already there and repeat the process. This is how you let go. You replace the fear that it won't happen with the feeling that it's already happening. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you already have it and you will receive it. This is all within your field of attraction. I call this the field of attraction and I explain everything in my mastermind training. Don't hesitate, there's so much to learn there. I'll leave a link to the website below this video. Share this with people who you think might benefit from it. Subscribe to this channel. There's another powerful video coming tomorrow.